YouTube, what is happening? Welcome back to a brand new video. It has been so, so long since I've recorded, um, so apologies about that. Even though I don't think anyone will mind that much, um, the last video I did was like a 10k calorie challenge, so it's been ages. It's been ages. Um, what am I doing today, you might ask? Well, you've probably seen the title. I am getting my blood done, so I'm getting my testosterone checked, I think my liver levels, all that kind of like healthy, good, fun, interesting stuff, which I would definitely be interested in, and I'm really excited to see, so hopefully you guys are too. Um, I'm getting it done in the TRT clinic in Waterford, um, I'll leave their Instagram somewhere along the screen, um, so I would definitely recommend popping down to them if you are in Waterford or anywhere remotely close. Um, so the reason I'm going in is I met this guy in the gym, um, who I've known for a good while now, Stephen, an absolute gent, love that guy he is the nicest person ever and um, he invited me down told me to pop down get my stuff checked and um, see where i'm at and uh yeah i guess you guys all get to see as well so i'm actually really interested and can't wait to do it and um, so i'm basically gonna be bringing you along with me who's excited who's excited i'm excited all right i hope you're excited and um, so yeah i guess i'll catch you in the car next when i'm outside the clinic see you then Right boys, what's happening? So we have just arrived now um, at the TRT clinic. I'm pretty sure it's here. Um, I'm in Ballinakill shopping centre, so I think it's here. Um, I have literally just arrived, um, so I'm going to head in now, meet Stephen. I actually don't even know if Stephen's going to be in there, um, but I'll be going in. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys inside. So today I am here with Tarek and we are in the TRT um, replacement therapy clinic. Um, so today I'm getting checked my sex hormone, hormone panel full lipid panel, um, my renal panel, and my liver panel, is that correct? Yeah. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I suppose, how long do the results take? They take about two to three days. Two to three days, okay, cool, cool, cool. And you usually text them or email them. Text them okay. or email them, okay, cool, brilliant, brilliant. Well, I'm looking forward to it. And you're okay with blood sound, are you? Yeah, yeah, before. yeah, I've had them before. Sharp scratch. Is it sports or just fitness? Um, it's just well, I suppose I play football, um, but like my gym would the gym would kind of be my main main priority, um, and I've always kind of had like an interest in this side of stuff, like taking taking steroids is never something that I would do, of course. but I find it really interesting mm. the whole process, yeah. um, and um, I've always found like whenever. Like, even, say, for me, like, I was always interested in, like, getting my testosterone checked, like, yeah. just the level it was at. Yeah, yeah. Just it's because, like, good, good it's something interesting, you know? Yeah. Um, but then, like, whenever I'd get it checked in a place, like, not like this, like, I was just getting, like, hounded by the doctors, just being like, you're going to take steroids, you're going to take steroids, all this, that, and the other. Yeah. So, um, I, it was just, like, it was such an awkward process. I, I can imagine. So, like... You know, like, and like, I was like, look, I'm never going to do this. Look, just like, this is like my main interest, like yeah. the gym, you know, yeah. healthy living, all this yeah. kind of stuff is my main interest. Yeah. So it's like, it was just a bit awkward. Yeah. You're just kind no, of... The thing is, unfortunately, in Ireland, we're slightly behind when it comes to TRT. They always kind of, there's a stigma attached to it. They always kind of uh, yeah. attach it to the gym and steroids and stuff like that. Yeah. But nowadays, in North America and Europe, it's gone far ahead that evidence-based medicine has shown that men go through menopause just like women. And as we age, our testosterone level drops and plateaus. Okay. It affects our body physically. Yeah. It affects us sexually. Yeah. It affects us mentally. Okay. Uh, they get low mood, depression, clear fo foggy mind, procrastination. Uh, these are the things, especially at the age of 35 years and going forward. Uh, so a lot of people now have been proven that like males, just like females, once they reach a certain age, any woman goes through HRT, which is hormonal replacement therapy, which is normal. You can, yeah. As a doctor, if you say, oh, I want HRT, they're more than happy to give you that. But for males, it's kind of like, for males, it's kind of like, why are we going to give you that? So it's kind of laid back behind. Yeah. And uh, so that's what we do here, and it's we see a lot of people who are not necessarily related to the gym. Yeah. We see just males who are married, have kids, and they just want to check, get it checked, and or they're going through low mood, depression. Okay. Or as a society would say, oh, what's wrong with this guy? He's gone through his midlife crisis. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. So we we check them. We kind of see where they are. Some of them, it, it is something they consider doing. Yeah. And for others, it's just a matter of knowing where they are. Yeah. yeah. And um, as like a male, I suppose, like you've, mm -hmm. how, how long have you been doing this? Been doing for, here in the clinic for about eight months now. Right? Eight it's months. Okay. Here, yeah. Okay. And um, how, like, 
if I was to ask you, like, say for me, like, my, my main priority is the gym and, yes, and being yeah. healthy. Mm-hmm. Say when my testosterone does kind of start to decline when I'm older, mm-hmm. would you recommend um, TRT? I would, but I'd say it has to be safe, first of all. Safe, yeah, oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. That's why we, the first thing anyone who's coming with us, we'd kind of do a consult, check what's their background medically, okay. if they're on any medications, any previous surgery, hospitalizations, okay. so kind okay. of see where we are. Okay. Then we do a comprehensive full blood, blood panel to kind of know if there's any contraindications or, you know, to avoid from using it. So yeah. once we tackle those things and if all is well, then it's something we can say, yeah, I think we're okay to go ahead. Okay. We'll be back in three months time, get your bloods done again to see the rest, of, see first A, how your body is responding to the treatment, and to make sure that nothing is deranged compared to the first set of bloods we did together. Okay, so yeah. Your baseline kind yeah, of yeah. work around. Do you find that um, the people with bad bloods are the kind of gym goers who might take steroids from like, like the wrong people? Wrong people, or testosterone itself. Okay. Uh, it could be, you know, off the market, it could not be the real thing. It could yeah. be a fake testosterone or the dosing and the advice they're given is incorrect. Jesus. And they're on it for years, and then when they come, you can see the adverse effects on the blood work from that. One. That's so crazy. I've seen someone who's 26 year olds, when you look at the bloods, you think they're 70. And then when you see the 70 year old, they see the bloods, and he looks like a 21 year old. Like if you don't have the date of birth, and you it's have crazy. the bloods, you think that's the old guy and that's the young guy. Yeah, and have you had like many people come into you who, who have taken steroids and have just like, gotten a bad dose and have had and have really bad bloods yeah really yeah. we've had people who have high hemoglobin levels just because of the therapy and we need to do something called a therapeutic lobotomy which is basically donating blood we need to get blood out of him otherwise you need to take blood out of him it's too, because of yeah, yeah otherwise if we leave it, it's going to be so high that it's going to make the blood viscous and thick and clot so we have to take uh, it out of him. Yeah. it's crazy because like nowadays like there's so many young people who want to, I yeah. suppose, take steroids, and the last thing they'll do is go the right way around it, you know, like going to a proper clinic and stuff like that. And, like, you're just telling me now that, like, you know, you've had people come into you who need to get blood taken out of them yeah. because of yeah. the steroids yeah. they've taken. It's, it's not actually the steroid, it's the, the, not only the steroid, it's the testosterone therapy itself. Okay. Like they're getting testosterone, but off the market. Yeah. And, and they're taking high doses of them, and some of these products the dose could be wrong, the product itself could be mixed with something else, and they're taking it for years onto their bodies, and that's when you start seeing the adverse effects that's of it. And that's the whole crazy. point of why we try and do constant monitoring and screening and blood checking, to make sure that you're doing yeah. it the right way, it's not affecting your organs. Mm. So I suppose like I, I would kind of have a following of a lot of young guys who, who do go to the gym, and who might be yeah. debating yeah. to take steroids. My advice, what would be your, advice, your advice? If you're young, in your 20s, early 20s, mid 20s, you don't need TRT. You don't need? You have it highly physiologically concentrated in your blood. That's yeah. the peak. That's yeah. the highest. So make the most out of it naturally. Okay. I'd say it's better if you're at a later age, above the age of 32, 35 yeah. and onwards. Now everyone's different genetically. Yeah. Some people, their testosterone goes lower at the age of 30. Okay. Better. But I'd say, the, the later you leave it, the better. The okay. Healthier. Yeah. That's what I would always say. Okay. If you're in your 20s, why are you taking it? Yeah, it's muscle just, mass. Yeah. You can go, just go to the gym more frequently. You, you have your testosterone in your yeah. body anyways. Okay. So just pump yourself. That's it. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. That's yeah, interesting. That's what I would cool. Okay. Well, look, thank you so much for that. No problem. It's been an absolute no pleasure. Is that everything? Are we that's finished? It, that's it cool. today. So we got Brilliant. Brilliant. Send them, and once we have the results, we'll get Oh, and that is it done. Um, Tarek is an absolute gent of a man. Lovely to deal with. He was, like, genuinely so, so nice. Um, and it was so interesting to speak to him as well about, like, all the kind of the steroids and the testosterone. I just find all that stuff so interesting. But, yeah, lovely process. Amazing. So, like, calm. He was so nice about everything. Um, so, yeah, if you're in the Waterford area, do be sure to check it out. Um, I will get my results in the next 48 hours. So, I'll catch you in 48 hours for the results. YouTube, what is happening? So, it is two days later and I have received my results. So, I mean, what's left to do than run through them? Um, 
So after getting the results, I got a phone call from the clinic and I got told that my bloods were healthier than 98% of people that have been to the clinic, which is so cool to hear. Now, obviously I am one of the younger clients. I would have assumed, you know, being in the clinic, um, I'd imagine it's a lot of kind of older people there. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'm really glad to hear it, but I know, I, I suppose I'm not overly surprised, you know, seeing as I'm only, what, 20 years of age, and I'm sure there's a lot of older people in there. Um, but still, nonetheless, really, really cool to hear. Um, um, as for the results, then um, I'm just going to get them up here. So 96 of my... 96% of my results were in range, 1% was um, in between, and then 3% were out of range. I will show you here. So as you can see, then as for the results themselves, so the two things that were kind of out of range um, was my HDL cholesterol was a bit low and then my diabetes health, my glucose was a bit low as well. Um, nothing outrageous now, um, they're both like just um, tipping over low, um, but you know, it's all it's okay. And then my liver health was moderately raised from what I can see. Um, obviously, I would have been on Roaccutane for about nine months, so I'm not overly surprised about my liver health. Then everything else seems to be good. Um, my testosterone um, nanomoles was 18.9, um, and the, it, 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 the range is from 8.6 to 29.0 as far as I'm aware. And everything else is in range. My stress, my sex hormones, my hormonal health is all in range from what I can see. Um, so yeah, that is really, really cool. Um, lads, look, if you're in the Warford area, or I'm pretty sure they're up in Dublin as well, TRT Clinic Ireland, um, I'll leave their Instagram up here once more time. Do hit them up. They are the nicest people ever. It's such a smooth and relaxing process. You get the results within 48 hours. I would totally recommend to anyone who needs to get their blood checked. Um, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next video.